We've been in rural Hertfordshire in England for the past week and it's a beautiful county. Um, every village seems to be picture perfect. Every village seems to be full of Range Rovers. Range Rover, Range Rover, Range Rover. I don't think they allow you to buy a house if you don't have a Range Rover or Land Rover. Anyway, the house we're at is pretty special, I think. And we've been dog sitting and also house sitting. And this is the house. It's pretty amazing. And what makes it really special is that it's a passive house. And if you haven't heard of passive houses, I'm gonna tell you all about it in this video. So you're probably wondering, what is a passive house? Passive house is just a set of standards that houses have to be built to, to achieve the passive house standard. It's no surprise this house has won design awards, because look at it. It's actually, it's beautiful from any angle, and it's beautiful in any weather, because believe me, it's been raining a lot here and it's stunning. And the design is all part of the passive house standard. The idea is that most of the windows are south facing and uh, as you know south facing is great for getting energy from the sun. So a lot of the heat in the house is really generated from that south facing aspect even in the winter because the sun does shine in the winter of course. The other great thing about passive houses is that they are really well insulated and that's really I think the key. You don't get any drafts in a passive house and um, even in even in the house that we've got which is modern and was only made a couple of years ago uh, the extension is still a bit drafty so that doesn't happen with a passive house that's the whole point is that that is a case where no air gets in apart from through the ventilation system so the ventilation system is called MVHR and that's mechanical ventilation and heat recovery and what it does, it takes the awful stale air out of places like the uh, kitchen and bathrooms and utility room, takes that away and brings in nice fresh air into all the living areas. Uh, the ventilation is silent. I mean, you can just about hear it when you open the cupboard, but generally you can't hear it. It just goes on quietly. So yeah, no drafts, uh, nothing should feel cold. They've got polished concrete floor. Even walking around on that actually doesn't feel cold at all. It's just wonderful kind of ambient temperature that the house always has and obviously in the in the summer of course it can get too hot so you can open all the windows of course um, uh, but then you just have to make sure you put the blinds down and close the windows once the air gets hotter on the outside oh and the windows sorry windows are triple glazed as well some of the best technology is like magic and uh, this is no exception so this is an air source heat pump and uh, the, these are the kind of things that they've fascinated me for so long it uses a bit of electricity to um, get heat from the air and it works even in minus 15 Celsius temperatures, which is pretty amazing. And that's how it looks. And they're actually pretty common these days, but um, that is essential for a passive house. That gets the heat from the air and that's what heats the water. It must be extremely well insulated. Even under the flooring, there's um, pretty thick insulation, I believe. There's uh, Every pipe in there has to be perfectly lagged. So that is all part of the passive house standard. Now, they do have radiators. The architect asked them to put, or told them they should have radiators, but they've not used them once. No, sorry, they used them once when they first got the house, just to get it up to a temperature. And then they haven't used it again in the time they've been here. What they do have, and you can see it up there, they have a chimney. So they do have a fire that they use in the winter. and burning that heats the house incredibly well and also uh, heats the water as well. So the idea is that it's just it's the kind of house that might cost a lot to uh, to build or in fact you don't have you don't have to build it you can just convert your own house. Uh, obviously that's involves a lot of expensive insulation and yes changing the windows to triple glazing things like that but you obviously save a fortune so I mean their electricity bill is very low. So this is a pretty stunning house and we've absolutely loved being here for the past week. It's been a complete privilege and uh, looking after their lovely dog as well, even though he ran away from us a couple of times and we had to run up the hill and try and find him. Uh, anyway, do look online about passive houses. See if you can go to a passive house open day because sometimes they um, open them up. Uh, charitable people around the country, around the world probably open up their passive houses so you can see what they're like. 
Uh, so find out about them, do look into it if you're planning to build your own house or even converting your old house into one of these, that's certainly possible. And um, yeah, a bit of a life goal to do it ourselves. So uh, what would help with that is if you press subscribe and press the bell icon and uh, press the like button. Press every button you see on here effectively because uh, it all helps go towards our Passive House Fund. For now, thanks very much for watching and uh, I shall speak to you very soon. Bye for now. We have to get chickens, two eggs a day, and that's just so nice to have around. It's a revelation. We wanted them already, but now we're just, we're definitely gonna get chickens.